up guys and girls i am mystery from nyc and if you are new to the channel i want to welcome you all right on today's video the topic is going to be upgrades now you can do anything from adding a light to changing your brake pads to something that's aftermarket that's different that's an upgrade in today's video my upgrade will be subtle <laughs> pedal 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 NYPD is in the house. So the subtle upgrade that I am talking about is uh, the sprocket setup on this 2023 Suron Light B. So I've recently put on some 16s. I had a 42 sprocket and I was dusted by our boy Electric Santito. Go, one, two, three, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, okay, so I'm leaving him behind, but <laughs> he's passing. My tune is limited because I am still running a stock Suron motor. So I am trying to work my way around torque and speed by doing subtle improvements like the sprocket. Last night I installed a 52 tooth sprocket. So I've made a slight modification. And when you go to a larger tooth sprocket, you will increase the torque. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna find out how much more torque I will get and whether or not in the long haul, how the uh, the top speed is affected. So there is a place out in New Jersey that will remain undisclosed at the moment anyway. And I will run another speed test. So without any further ado, let us get into this one. All right, so we have been blessed with some beautiful weather, but all that has changed. We have a cold front that came in and just yesterday I was riding around in 48 degree weather <laughs> and today we, it has dropped to a very cold 22 degrees. So this is how I get into Jersey. I take the bike trail over the Bayonne Bridge. I'm gonna stop up ahead at the peak of this bridge, get some nice close up to the bike for my bureau in the beginning of this video. So this over here is the midpoint this is where New York meets New Jersey. All right, now that I got a few shots, I'm good to go. All right, it's a quick ride into New Jersey. And uh, just to keep you guys in the loop, the, uh, the ride here has been a chill ride, not pulling too much power. I'm trying to save the experience of a, of a harder throttle to when we get to our destination. Uh, so I've been babying the throttle. I uh, really don't have a real good feel yet as to the improvement of a larger sprocket now one thing i love to mention is that i'm sure that all of this has been done before but i am new to suron it took me a while to be able to afford one of these so i am slowly catching up and i'm sure that a lot of viewers haven't had the experience so i'm hoping to share this experience with you also i want to mention that at the time E-Ride Pro was not available. The only option I had was Suron. And that's why I went with the Suron. But after purchasing the Suron, I quickly learned about the E-Ride Pro. And had that been available, the E-Ride Pro is what I'd be rocking right now. As I mentioned, my throttle has been subtle. I haven't cranked back on it too hard. I'm gonna turn on the Relive app and see what uh, my top speed will be as well as uh, I'm gonna try cracking on the throttle now a little bit more and let us see as well as I will screen record the battery all right I'm in sport mode and not at a dead stop but <clears throat> okay it does feel like I have to hold on a little harder, but it's not like the E-Ride Pro, whereas that front wheel just comes right up off the ground and you gotta be careful. All right, speed run is going down now. I'm covering a lot more ground because I started sooner. And I'm holding it a lot longer. Oh, now we put the brakes to the test slowly don't want that back wheel to slide 
I will stop this screen recording and I'll start it up again because I'm going back. I'm gonna hit it a second time. Let's see if we can increase on like speed, but I'll start sooner than later. I think it was at 88%, now I'm at 85. Uh, I get to the end of the line, we shall see top beat. See what we hit. All right, let's do this again. I'm gonna get on that throttle a lot quicker. Hopefully I have more road to cover. Longer runway, faster time, and I'm good with that. No cars are coming, but I really can't see through the fence, so it's a little sketchy. All right, I'm gonna go back to where I started, and uh, I will check out my top speed. Let's see if top speed has been improved. Ah. Now, where it is on the street, is that a smaller sprocket should improve your top speed. Larger sprocket, more torque. And when I say worded on the street, uh, that's uh, from viewers like you, uh, comments I've read in the comment section. All right, let's check out the top speed. Let's finish your activity. Get the fuck out of here. No fucking way. I'm in shock. I am in shock. There's no way. It says 70 miles an hour. Now, what did I do differently? The only thing that I could think of besides changing the sprocket was uh, the length of the road that I had. I started full throttle a lot sooner. I am really stoked about that. Oh my God. I guess we'll be running this setup <laughs> from now on. I think I'm done testing. I am super stoked right now. I'm hitting higher speeds, which is strange because I have a larger, a larger tooth sprocket in the back. So the only thing I can attest to this experience is if a smaller sprocket is supposed to give me higher speeds and I wasn't reaching 70 miles an hour and I put a larger tooth sprocket on and I am hitting 70 now. <laughs> the only thing that I can think is that I had more road to cover so I was able to pin it a little longer. And as a result, I got higher speeds. Now it makes me want to put that smaller tooth sprocket on <laughs> and find a longer runway. Who knows, maybe I can hit 76. All right, so now as far as torque goes, the bikes always had a good amount of torque and the increase wasn't substantial. It's not like I cranked on that throttle and the front wheel wanted to come up off the floor. And I thought that I would experience a considerable difference. Nonetheless, I am super stoked with the amount of torque and now the top speed that I'm hitting. All right, so there you have it. I'm cold and I'm on my way home. If you guys enjoyed this video, like always, smash the like button. Leave a comment because I get back to everybody. And if you want to, ooh, let's see if we can do this. Please, please subscribe. So until the next video, peace out, everybody.